sister still involved. With so much at stake, a little pension breaker is a big help. In this vein, as Wally emerged from the medical area in Hangar S to depart to the Atlas gantry, here he was all suited up and ready to go at 3 a.m. He said, I didn't have much to do today, so I think I'll put in a little flying time. Well, Wally, you sure did put in some flying time, and we're anxious to hear all about it. Wally Sherrard. Sigma 7 is a name to me that connotes an engineering symbol. It is the 18th letter of the Greek alphabet, and it also connotes summation. Basically, what we wanted to connote with this name was the very many inputs that have been brought forward to develop this flight. The fact that we had previous flights where we needed to make our initial steps into space. The fact that we had operations analyses of the previous flights, engineering analyses. That we had to make minor changes to make the previous problems of earlier flights straighten out. This, in truth, was the reason why I have been calling this Sigma or engineering. These earlier flights, starting with Al, backed up with Gus, John's orbital flight, and Scott's orbital flight, meant so much in helping me to realize what I needed to do to add to the knowledge that they had already accumulated. Where my knowledge went on was where I finally had my chance to go into space and look around a bit. sensations of launch are as perfectly described by both John and Scott. The railroad train that you're sitting on really does move out. It's somewhat larger in size than the afterburners I've been used to flying, but in essence I had five engines instead of the typical one or two.
Okay, there goes the tower. Roger. Order that to shut off. That tower really is a fine now. Your roll flight, I thought, was a textbook flight. We've had problems in the past, and they've been solved. I felt that I could go along and really let this machine do its own job. When I had jobs to do, I could concentrate on those. Stand by for takeoff. Takeoff. I have to go, caps up, and then off stairs. And it's very pleasant. Going to fly the wire low, going to fly the wire. That's fly the wire. You're dancing very nicely. Roll answers nicely. She's staying around very nicely. Got a call and tell her the truth of Billy. Very good. I like that kind. After capsule separation, naturally I commenced the first flying phase of the flight, where I performed a fly-by-wire low turnaround. Fly-by-wire low only means that we have changed since John's and Scott's flight. We've added a switch to permit us to use the very low thrusters for maneuvering while in orbit. This made it much easier for me to handle. In Scott's case, he had a little more trouble with the high thrusters coming in frequently. This way, we could cut them out, and I could concentrate completely on control and continue with other tasks simultaneously. We could devote attention to monitoring the various meters that we'd added. We've added temperature meters to record the temperatures of each of the low thrusters that I was using. We had rather increased readouts on the electrical system. We've added instrumentation to Sigma-7 to give us a very accurate readout on the shoot temperature circuit. I believe that some people thought we were having a suit problem. The cool analysis on the surface in Mercury Control Center while in an air-conditioned room obviously gave me the opportunity to pursue the chasing down of the proper coolant quantity flow to bring the suit under control. And this is what we did. Roger, Colonel Capcom, do you read me? UHS low, over. Uh, Roger, stand by this frequency, 7 for Capcom. Okay. How's your suit tent doing now? It looks like it's holding, huh? But it's sit for a while. Oh, camp system look good, uh, 7. Roger, I think the only problem I have is the suit circuit. I'll work on it for a while and see how we are. Takes a, a wee bit of time for that to stabilize. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, Duke, I finally got a, a grasp on this thing where I'm beginning to feel a little cooler. And the suit inlet temperature is now down to 7.6. Over. All right, I've been sneaking up on this thing for almost a whole orbit. Uh, I really do feel I'm getting cooler. The uh, suit inlet is now about 7.5 to 7.6. So I am making progress. Over. That is affirmative. I'd rather not throw in the, the sponge on the settings I have so far. Indian Ocean ship, Indian Ocean ship. This is Sigma 7. I read you. How do you read me? Over. Roger, I have good news. The suit inlet temperature is now 70 degrees. Over. Negative, I feel very comfortable. I think we got that problem left. Oh, Roger, I understand. Hey, Roger, everything is good here. Thank you very much for waiting for me to come by again. The systems that we were working with in Sigma 7 will differ somewhat from those that will be in Gemini and Apollo. But the use of these systems, the pilot control of these systems, is something I felt was my responsibility, was something I felt I could prove, and was something that the range itself was helping me.